And welcome back. This is the Devil Dancer. And this is episode three of the Mind Fantasy 2 tutorial Let's Play. Version 2.8. And as you can see, I do have 25 leather on me, five for each of those hides. So, as I had said, the research, you just put the piece of leather in there and hit it with your bare hand just right click it and as always leave that delay in between each click that will help it out and finished research for medium armor now if you go back in here just by right clicking on the legs you get your leather back so as you can see it doesn't hurt to do it and let's put some coal in there um I'm going to show you the bloomery when I make one. Oh no, I have to make one. It will not let me cook that. Okay. So, what we do is we get 24 and start cooking some stone. Come down here to this and we make our block of coal now to show you what i'm doing here let's go ahead and get out of mastery all right we are over here we need a bloomery because it says to smelt this so let's go over to the bloomery the bloomery takes stone five stone it takes a block of coal and that is put on in the carpenter bench with the hammer. So let us get the hammer. We'll put the knife away. We don't need it anymore. Um, we're going to keep three of those. We're going to keep three leather. Uh, we'll come in here. Blacksmith apron. This is done in the carpenter's bench as well. And it's just three leather and one coal so let's go ahead and make that and this is an important piece of equipment for blacksmithing this is what keeps you from catching on fire and basically burning to death and it just takes one punch and there's the blacksmith attire it does have an armor rating if you left shift it's got a 22 22 45 22 cutting, 22 piercing, 45 blunt. Now, I have not found anything that says exactly what that is, but my guess is it's a percentage of damage reduction. Not points, just percentage, because you can get hurt pretty bad still. Like I said, there's not much documentation on this mm. game. That is why we're going through with the Let's Play, and I'm helping you figure it out. So, I have some stone. I've got 12 stone. Let's build this bloomery. Now, the bloomery does have to be placed outside with open sky above. And it cannot be inside with a chimney like the forge can. Now the forge I could build here and just put a chimney out and it would be perfectly fine. The bloomery, no, it won't work. It generates too much smoke, too much heat, whatever you want to role play into it. But it does need to be outside. Now... You do need the bloomery for some research. As you can see, it says can research, but it's not required at the moment. So we are going to be using it for what it was meant to be used for. All right, let's get the rest of the items that we will need. We're going to need a stone anvil. So it's two, three, and one, and it's made with a hammer and the carpenter's bench. 
So two, three, and one. Let's go ahead and get the anvil. And of course, we will need a forge. So that is two stone on each side with a piece of coal in the center. And if I can get these to fall right, it'll even be better. There we go. And it takes the hammer. So the hammer is a very important item. You're going to be using it a lot. Uh, stone one, especially for the moment. Now, the one thing we do need is a trough because we need a trough to quench. So the trough is just simply any timber, any type of timber, put like that. Now there's more advanced levels of the trough, but we'll worry about that later. Right now, let's go ahead and take a piece and we'll make okay I can't remember if this will work and it does it's considered a scrap trough um, once you can make it with wood and the uh, Words am I missing? Refined planks, yes. When you can make it with that and ref with nails and refined timber, it does upgrade, but you need to have your hammer to use it. Uh, for right now, we're going to just go ahead and put these outside. So let's clear a little bit of an area. Because this hill is eventually going to go away. Because remember, we are going to build here. So let's put down the bloomery right there. Open sky access. We will put the anvil right here. Now, the trough, uh, you got to fill with water. You can put it down and use a bucket to fill it or I found you can take it's a big hole you can take your trough just run it over right click and fill it up that way <clears throat> that gets us a full trough of water and you can break it up when it runs out because as you use it it does go down so you can just break it back up let me turn this down i thought i had turned that down but apparently it's not i do apologize let's go straight down to 50. all right now that is better yes Ooh, seeds gotta have seeds all right so put our seeds up here put this down here throw that in there now the bloomery right click the access we put those in we put our ore in and i believe it's one coal per one coal one charcoal per uh four yes yes it is okay had to remember uh we need a fire source to start it since you can't make flint and steel like normal what you do is you take two sharp rocks and you put them in shapeless crafting. Yeah, let me show you in the book. 
it'll be easier. And I'll remember. So, forging. And this should. I guess it's not going to show. Um, where is it going to show it at? It's primitive tools. Uh, we will need to make tongs, so that's a good thing. All right. So let's go to basic. I know it's in here. There's fire pit. Oh, back it up. That was it there. Uh, basic workbench, shapeless crafting, dry rocks. And those act uh, like a flint and stone striker. And we'll put that in. Now, this when the durability on this runs out, if you have a repair kit, you can repair it. However, we don't have repair kits at the moment. It's going to take us a little bit. Um, that is a 10 artisanry in order to study it. Uh, got that. Okay. Tongs. We need tongs. Um, it's never good to pick up hot metal with your bare hands. So, if I remember correctly, it was there, there, and here. How about that? Tongs. So, we make it with our hands. Okay. Don't need the shovel. We need that. Oh, and you have to wear that. So, that was kind of dangerous. For this, you just walk up and you right click. And you can just hold it down. There we go. Do you hear that? <laughs> that is it lighting. Uh, with the bloomery, you can't access it anymore. See? Right clicking, nothing. Uh, you'll see it when it comes up. It'll come up with, well, it'll come up kind of weird looking. And what we're going to do is find out if we need an ingot or if we need the bars. So we're going to hammer these down into the bars. And then we're going to put them all into the anvil and only pull out all but one. And we're going to make sure the one's a bar, or no, the one's an ingot, because these should come out as bars. We just got to wait for it to get done and hope there is no dragon attack. This would be bad. I didn't think of that. Okay. So I don't always think ahead. Let's go ahead and eat a berry. That got us full. Apparently we ate two. All right, so we just hammer on them. And there's one bar. Come over and you can see the bar behind the tongs. That's neat. Right click on the trough. And this is cool. This is an ingot. Okay. These, as far as I know, these never cool down. And you can just keep hammering them. There's our artisan up the two. All right. And we do that. And we just walk up and automatically picks them up. So let's go ahead and put these in here. I don't want copper hunks. Why does it say copper hunk? Because this one, everything's made into bars. Okay. Gotcha. That's right. Um, this had the same problem as the new version. This one was corrected, but he didn't what he done is he made everything into bars 
so use bars instead of or used ingots instead of bars I'm sorry so I do know we need to study one of these so let's put one in there and we'll go ahead and research it oh no we won't we need more skill that's right uh, for that one we need artisan level five so we'll be we'll be making some stuff uh, for right now we do need sticks I do have scrap timber because as I said I was making these and uh, yeah it, it broke so I had to redo my tanning rack let's go ahead and put everything away that we don't need I'm gonna turn that into torches don't need the hammer don't need the tongs I'm gonna be digging the mine don't need that so let's come in here automatically make the torches first make those get those all right so we will make ladders we'll make a lot more ladders I'm gonna keep eight of those to the side so let's go ahead and take that and <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 33. Okay, what level are we on? 68. And I like to dig down to 11 for diamond level. Um, so that's what? Uh, 40, 57 ladders I need? I do believe we need to make more sticks. All right, so. Okay, that is plenty then. Put these away. Pull the shovel down. Nope, I want to pull that out. I want to make some charcoal. Um, easier to use when we need to and we're gonna need charcoal for research um, right now I could do research with some coal and some charcoal but it's not for artisanry so I'm gonna hold off on doing that I'm gonna try to do what we need when we need it I don't want to get too far ahead and get anybody confused not that Listen to me play, he's not going to confuse you already. All right, so let's make some stone picks. Uh, a lot of the mining I will do on stream. Uh, so go ahead and take a look down in the description for my stream channel. And feel free to head over to Twitch to uh, join up. You can go ahead and sign up and set up for notifications. And when I go to stream, you'll get your notifications. All right, so this is something you usually don't want to do is dig straight down. But now sometimes some of us just, well, we're just not right. So there's one, two, three. <clears throat> Sorry, move that one, two, three, and we'll put the torch right here. Hello, torch. All right. So that will be the start of the mine.
That's one, two. <clears throat> hmm. Do I want to take extra time or waste a pick? Let's take some extra time. So let me crouch and dig my way down. That way I don't fall into a lava pit. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one is going to be torch. I really think I might want to waste the pick. This is going too long. So let's dig that over. And we'll dig down this way. Keeping track of torches. Two, three, four. Oh, yes. Uh, I tried to right click to put the torch down. <laughs> If you have stone pick in your hand, anything, and you click on a block, you'll get that. You can mine this, tool zero, block zero. That tells you tool level zero is what it requires and the level of the block. Now the stone shovel apparently doesn't do that. I thought it did. Okay, well at least you know the pick does it. And that is a good thing. So when we make a copper pick or preferably a brass pick, we'll have that information that we can use to figure out if we can mine the item. But for now, we're going to dig straight down, hopefully come across some stuff that we can use. Two, three, four. Pick broke, new one installed. All right, we're coming up on 22 minutes. Just a couple more minutes of this. And what I'll do is, in between episodes, I will go ahead and I will dig this shaft all the way down as far as I need to go. Uh, nothing major is going to happen the way I'm digging because one block's going to be out and I'll be supported by the other. So. Death-defying falls are eliminated. They always say, real men dig straight down. Well, I'm kind of half of a real man. I'll dig straight down, but I want to make sure I have a safety net. All right, so I will... Mine up resources as I come across them, just because I need the coal. And I'll need anything else that is going to be available. So what would you what would everybody like to know about the mind fantasy 2 uh any any curiosities uh, any questions on it um hey yes i backfill everything um we will be going through all of it so uh, if you can hold your questions as to something we haven't gotten to, um, we will get to it. But if it's important that you need to know, let me know. I do have solutions for all the researches. Um, I had played a, another game and gotten that. So 
that's why it's not taking so long for me to figure out what they are because I already know so if there's any researches that you need to know let me know I can get them to you uh, any suggestions you got for me that you'd like to see or have me do just let me know um, anything within reason I'll take into consideration and well I'm here to play I'm here to teach but importantly I'm here for you guys to entertain you and yes we will be fighting the dragon eventually because one of the researches is for the dragon heart it's for dragon forging so not only will I need one for the the, the research I'm going to end up needing a couple more so we're going to be fighting dragons uh, we got that castle that we will take we'll fight that take that over but we are going to take our time doing it now the cop this is iron I don't think I can mine this so what I do is I right click on it and this cannot be mined with this tool tool zero is my tool and the block level is one so i need a tool of one uh so basically what that says is i need a brass pickaxe so in the next episode We'll smelt down the tin, finish getting the information, and make a brass pick. All right, so let's go right underneath of it, throw a torch in there. That's two, three, four. I'm going to hold up here. I'm going to call the episode. I am going to finish going down. We are only on 24, not much more to go. So. I will finish this up for the next episode and get the ladder back in and get out of here. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you're entertained. Hope you're informed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and ask. Until then, this is Devil Dancer. And you have a great day.